Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for St. John's Lutheran Church of McGuanago. It is Thursday, August 27th. If you're actually watching this uh, Thursday morning um, before 9 a.m., a reminder you are invited to um, our Zoom Bible class as we continue studying Ruth uh, beginning at chapter 3 this morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God. O Lord, come quickly to help me. Send out your light and your truth, that they may lead me, and bring me to your holy hill, and to your dwelling. Sunday morning, uh, I was able to attend the opening service at Luther Preparatory School for Andrea and Emma. Part of that service um, always involves uh, the installation of some new teachers and pastors on staff there, or ordination if it's a pastor's first call into the ministry, and this year was no exception. And always a timely reminder of the privilege uh, both for called worker um, and for calling body or congregation as we think about um, our roles um, in that ministry relationship. This Sunday we're reminded of the same here at St. John's. Um, the Lord sends gifts to his church. Do you know it's been 45 years um, that St. John's Lutheran um, Church has uh, operated a Lutheran elementary school? Um, this year we have roughly 140 plus children entrusted to our care. Um, preschool through eighth grade um, at the appropriate time um, when things settle down a bit we'll uh, say thank you to Steve Toth for his 38 years of faithful service in that school um, but this Sunday we focus our attention um, on Miss Katie Catherine Katie um, she prefers uh, wrath um, whom the Lord has gifted to us um, to serve as our next fifth and sixth grade teacher um, and athletic director. I'm all, always a little bit careful, maybe sensitive to this, um, that um, Katie has not been called to um, replace um, Steve. We, we talk about that oftentimes in, in real world, right? This person took this person's position or replaces that position. I'm, I'm careful to speak in those terms in regards to ministry um, because the Lord gifts each um, worker individually and uniquely. Um, Katie hasn't technically been called to replace anybody. She's been called to serve. She's been called to serve uh, with the gifts and abilities um, that the Lord has gifted to her. And on Sunday, we will hear Katie promise and we will hear um, our other uh, members of our teaching faculty promise um, to carry out um, their ministry uh, with the gifts that God has uh, given to them for the good of the young sheep entrusted to their care. Um, for our devotion this morning, I just wanted to repeat um, the words that will be spoken to you as members of St. John's um, who are promising to receive these teachers as what they are, gifts from God for the good of the gospel ministry in our midst. Brothers and sisters of St. John's, you've heard the solemn promises given by those you've called to serve. Work together with them for our Lord's kingdom, so that by your works of service, the body of Christ might be built up. And I think that's a nice way to approach words and actions. Is this to be seen as working together with our teachers for the building up of God's kingdom um, here in this place? Number two, always keep them and their work on your behalf in your prayers, so that their ministry may be greatly blessed, and that they may work among you with joy. Um, when it comes to uh, political leaders or leaders in the church or leaders in the home, that's an honest question to ask ourselves. How has my prayer life been on their behalf? How often do I entrust their needs and their ministries into the hands of a loving Lord who delights in those prayers? Number three, provide also for their physical needs, for the Lord says the worker deserves his wages. I'll speak on behalf of all the called workers here at St. John's. It is an absolute privilege and it brings joy to us in our ministry for all the physical blessings we receive from the congregation um, that comes with serving here. I always said you preach the gospel for free, but the payment that is given it allows you to do so. I don't have to have a real job. This is what I get to do. Um, it is... Um, 
a joy and a reason to give thanks to God for your support of those whom God has sent to your midst. So thank you for that continued support. Number four, honor and love them as the Apostle Peter urges. All of you be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. Of course, in the training of children, there will be times when we disagree with one another, when parents disagree with teachers and vice versa. With the words of Peter covering over that, being sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. Those conversations will be a blessing. It doesn't mean that uh, Christians are always going to see eye to eye or that there will never be a, a disagreement. It means that when we disagree, here are the words um, that, that guide those disagreements. Um, if you can clothe that email or that phone call um, with sympathy in Christian love, compassion, and humble. God bless it all to his glory. And then we promise to do so. So what do we say this day? Lord, thank you for the gift of faithful teachers. Lord, thank you for parents and students that uh, fill our Lutheran elementary school, that fill our Sunday schools, high schools, our congregation. Lord, as we all work towards this end goal, we are preparing not just for lives of service here, but finally for an eternal life purchased for us in one um, by the blood of Christ. So, uh, 1030 a.m. Sunday um, is a reason to rejoice if you're not able to be here, that you can uh, join in praying and asking that God would bless Miss Katie Rath and her ministry among us. In the holy name of Jesus, amen. In the morning, O oh Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Show us your mercy, O oh Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your servants with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O oh Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty and everlasting God, you are always more ready to hear than we are to pray and to give more than we either desire or deserve. Pour upon us the abundance of your mercy, forgiving us those things of which our conscience is afraid, and giving us those good things for which we are not worthy to ask, except through the merits and mediation of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.